Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. It has been a while, but I'm back. I was in Miami. You can see the Jazz Chisholm Jr. bobblehead right there. I spent a lot of money to go down to Miami to get that, but it was a great trip, so Yak has been covering for me. Appreciate him. But the Twins win today, a big win over the Guardians, and... Yeah, they are 42 and 33 on the season. Of course, still in first place in the AL Central. They are now three games up on the Guardians um, after an 11 to 1 win today. Um, and it really should have been a shutout, in my opinion. Um, but the Guardians got a run in the bottom of the ninth. Uh, just a wild pitch. Uh, got away from Jeffers, and that allowed the Guardians to score. So. That's all we got to talk about today, right? No, just kidding. Um, a really dominating performance by the Twins today. And, like, this is great because a week ago, Tuesday, I went to the Twins game against the Guardians, the first game in that series when they were playing them, um, and they lost. They lost that game. It was the game where Luis Arias had a three-run home run to tie the game. That was electric. That was awesome. Uh, but then... Uh, the Guardians came back and won that game, and they tied first place with the Minnesota Twins, and they actually had the tiebreaker over the Twins. So a lot has changed in just a week, but this was a very strong, convincing win. And now if the Twins win one of the next four, there is no way they can lose the division um, after playing the Guardians. So uh, it's a five-game series over the next four days. There are two games tomorrow. Um, and if the Twins win one game, the rest of the series, they will not relinquish first place in the AL Central, at least uh, while they are playing the Guardians. And the good news is, if the Twins can stay hot, they could potentially walk away from Cleveland with a seven-game lead or, you know, a five-game lead or whoever. They would drop Cleveland very low in the standings. So let's talk about this game. It was a very good game all around. We're going to start with pitching because Sonny Gray did amazing. He uh, really has shined in the last like three or four starts. He has done really, really well in all of aspects of pitching. He threw seven innings tonight. It was clean. Only gave up three hits, no runs. Struck out three. Was not not a big strikeout night for him? And honestly, if my memory serves me correctly, he's really not struck out a ton of guys this year. But he hasn't walked a lot of guys, so that's what's been good. I know he's had a couple of derailments in there, uh, but overall, he has done really, really well. And tonight was no exception. He threw 97 pitches, 64 for strikes. Realistically, that's like what, a 65, 66% strike ratio. Honestly, it's, that's perfect. I mean, that's what, exactly what you want. Maybe a maybe a one or two pitches higher, but really not, not much else that you can, can complain about. And then uh, Jarrell Cotton came in through two innings, gave up two hits, uh, one earned run and a walk. Not the cleanest performance from him. Um, would have liked to see the shot out, of course. Uh, but uh, they get the win, and then that run at the end, it doesn't really matter. So Sonny Gray has lowered his ERA to 2.17. Very, very good. Cotton's at a 3.26, which is really not that bad either. Um and that's all you can really say about pitching. There was great defense behind him. I think there were three double plays that they turned. Yeah, Urshela to Arise Kirilov, and then Kirilov, Urshela, Gray um, for the 3-5-1 double play, I think that was. So that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, a lot of double plays turned behind him. Great pitching. That's all you can ask for on that side of the ball. If you go to the hitting, another great night from most of the guys. Or, well, not great night, but a good night. Like, that's what they, they, they did what they needed to do. But the bottom of the lineup in this game, specifically five through seven, did amazing. And when I say amazing, I mean this is the best performance of three hitters, I think, uh, maybe in this year, maybe in the MLB this year. I'm not sure. Uh I'll start with them. Kirilov, three for three night with a ribby. I thought he also got hit. Is that correct? So look at that. That's incredible. Four for four uh, on the night. Maybe he got hit twice. I don't know exactly. Um, but he got on base a lot. 
which is fantastic. Urshela right behind him, five uh, or three for five with two RBIs tonight and two runs. And then Gary Sanchez, three for five with four RBIs and two runs, including a three-run home run um, that happened in the second inning. Just started out hot, and then they kept going, put up a crooked number every single time they were at the dish. Three runs in the second, then two in the fourth, two in the sixth, two in the seventh, and two in the ninth off of the position player. But, hey, they count as hits, they count as runs, they pad the stats. The Twins have been so bad this year at consistency when it comes to hitting. They've been really, really good, and they score 10-plus runs a game, and then they also get shut out, like, more than any team in the MLB. Like, I think they have 10 or 11 times they've been shut out. Not that they've shut out, that they've been shut out. And it just blows my mind how solid this lineup is, uh, but how inconsistent it is. Tonight, very consistent. Like, this is what we expect. This is what we want to see. And this is what we saw. Like, this is this is what I would say. Probably a little bit better than the Twins. Oh, I got a yawn there. But better than the Twins, you know, normally do. But really, on any given night, any of these guys can do this. It just happened to be all in a row where they went four for nine uh, with runners in scoring position. They only left five guys on base. Like, two out hitting was huge. They had uh, Nick Gordon's two-run home run on that. He also went one for three with two RBIs. So, I mean, that group of guys um, scored nine of, the, uh, nine of the 11 RBIs, which is crazy, uh, or 10 RBIs or whatever it was. Um, and that, that was a big two-out hit by Nick Gordon to get the home run. It was his third home run of the season, and it was Sanchez's ninth. Um, going down the rest of the lineup, a rise 0 for 3, but did walk twice, so that on-base percentage is still cooking. Um, obviously, the average has dropped a little bit to 345, but I think he's still up there. If not leading, he's very close to leading in the uh, MLB. Buxton 0 for 4 with 3 strikeouts. That might be his worst performance of the year, but he's coming off of a 3 for 3 game, so what can he really do? Not a good night for Buxton. Celestino came in for him and got a hit one for one he's still batting 299 which is incredible Correa went one for four with a home run of his own um that's his eighth of the year forgot to mention that but uh, that was fantastic uh good night for him he's batting 300 now by the way um he's had a, a good couple of games um obviously not the best game tonight going one for four but a good stretch there um and the OPS is over 800 I mean this is great that's what you expect from him Contreras, uh, Mark Contreras, uh, he got his first hit tonight off the position player in the ninth inning. It's a it's a hit, and like the announcers were joking, they're not going to ask you who you hit it off of. They're just going to ask you, did you get a hit? They did. Um, Kepler over four tonight. Miranda went one for one. Kirilov, uh, Urshela, Sanchez, and Gordon we already talked about doing great things tonight, and then Jeffers went over four. He has really struggled, by the way. Like. Maybe we could do a separate video on this. Like we gave up, um, we gave up Garver. Basically, Jeffers is like a Garver. He's very similar to Garver, but Garver could hit better. Like we hit with power, and Jeffers is so inconsistently hitting with power. But we basically gave up Jeffers um, or Garver for Jeffers to get Kiner Falefa, which we then traded uh, to get Urshela. So. Who do you want more, Urshela and Sanchez? I guess Sanchez is probably more of the direct comparison. So do you like Sanchez more or do you like Garver more? Um, and then we have to deal with Jeffers as the other every other day guy um, instead of Garver and Jeffers, where Garver would probably be taking more of the load. Honestly, I think this works out. Just something else to add in there. But uh, Jeffers is really struggling. He's only batting 195. Um, yeah, he's the worst on the team by far. Like he is Miranda... Uh, is at 229 after, you know, he was doing really, really bad at the start of the season. But at least he's gotten it up to a respectable range. I mean, you look at Sanchez betting 227 after a night like this, which is great. But, like, th that's where you expect those guys, maybe. Jeffers should be in that range, and he's not. So, really disappointing night for him. But everyone else, solid, great night. You're putting up 11 runs. You're going to win. And uh, that's what you need to do against the second-place team. So, really, really good night. By all of those guys, I'm tired. I'm probably going to go to sleep right away, but a uh, really good night by the Twins, a good win, and that's what we expect to see. 14 hits, by the way, tonight. Um, 
everyone getting in on the action. So really good win. Uh, obviously, Cleveland lost. The White Sox are losing as well. All around good night. We'll see you tomorrow for the doubleheader. Thanks for watching.